Hey guys, Tony Mancato here. So in a minute, I'm going to be interviewing Matthew Bly, head of sales from Luna Physical Therapy. I've got a ton of questions for him. Let me see if I can get him on the Zoom chat. I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay. All right, Matthew, thank you so much for joining me. So for my audience, I always like them to have an idea of who they're talking to. But even before I ask you to share a little bit about your history, I want to share a little bit of information about me. Full disclosure, I am not being paid by Luna. I have no connection to Luna. Like I have no business interest in Luna. I reached out to you because I want you to come on and talk to my audience about Luna Physical Therapy. I think that Luna Physical Therapy offers some of the greatest resources. And I had a conversation this weekend with a handful of therapists in the West Virginia area, and none of them had ever heard of Luna Physical Therapy. And these are therapists that are involved in APTA and local chapter meetings. Like they're doing a lot of really cool stuff. So I was shocked. So I was like, all right, I got to get Matthew on here so I can share some information about the company. But before we do, you're a physical therapist, if I understand correctly. Tell me about your background and kind of where you came from and, and what sure. you love about the profession first. Yeah. So I, I am not a physical therapist. Oh, okay. Um, but I am a, I'm a licensed ATC, but I've That's been what it was. in the physical therapy space for, gosh, 16 plus years now. Uh, okay. So working in all settings, outpatient, home care, uh, home health. Uh, and at home physical therapy. So uh, all all arenas, kind of my entire career surrounding the physical therapy space. Now I've got to ask you, why did you choose athletic training instead of physical therapy? And I only ask because I lived with a ton yeah. of athletic trainers and I was like, you guys are crazy. Why would you go down that road? What was your passion for ATC? Uh, I was an athlete in college. It seemed like the the easier path at the time. Uh, it kind of fit with kind of where I thought I was going, um, but I agree with you. Uh, I I definitely, if I could go back in time, I would switch and, and definitely do the physical therapy route. I love athletic training. I mean, when I was going through school, I thought I wanted to be an athletic trainer. So no knocks against the profession in any sure. way. Um, let's talk about Luna. So yeah, in your I own did. words, kind of somebody who's never heard of Luna physical therapy, how do you kind of describe what Luna is, what they do and where they they have their space within the profession for sure um i think um i think when i'm speaking to a lot of people about what we do uh, it's commonly associated to the uber kind of analogy uh, or the uber of physical therapy i think we're more than that though i really do i, I think i think um in a healthcare uh as healthcare evolves and and things are changing so rapidly with technology and and the way people are receiving not just healthcare but everything i think luna is you know just at the forefront of the industry of really delivering not so much um, a revolutionary way of actually delivering PT, but a revolutionary way for you to access PT and mostly for therapists really to change the game and how they view their, their career, how they view themselves as professionals and giving them the tools and, and an easy plug and play solution to really just help drive better healthcare and focus more of their time around patient care um, less around all the other things that kind of create noise and burnout and, and everything else that's going on in healthcare. So that that's personally how I view Luna. I think we're really changing um, just everything around how we interact with our patients and how our clinicians interact with a, a platform or a technology. And I agree. I know the first time I ever heard of Luna Physical Therapy, it was presented to me as the Uber of physical mm -hmm. therapy. Oh. Now, for people who don't know, you guys deliver outpatient therapy services in the home. Yep. Uh, you don't operate brick and mortar clinics owned by Luna. You basically have the platform that allow licensed physical therapists to use your platform and deliver outpatient therapy services. Does that sound about right? Yeah, you hit the nail on the head, right? It's just removing kind of the all the intermediate stuff that kind of clutters the the industry and just really giving a marketplace, a platform for therapists to be able to treat their patients and treat them the way that they want, how they want, when they want, um, and really just remove all the other, other things that kind of really muddy the waters in healthcare. Now, something that I found kind of interesting was as we move into technology and we see artificial intelligence and we mm -hmm. see so much uh, emphasis on bringing tech into the profession of physical therapy. I mean, we have 
the stuff that are coming out on apps. We have AI generated home exercise programs and all of these things. When I talk to people from your company, now I know you don't own Luna, but the yep. idea is you work with Luna from your team. Yep. They're all therapists. My first interview with somebody from Luna was a physical therapist. And then I did a webinar with people from Luna and they were therapists. Mm -hmm. You're an ATC, close enough. <laughs> like, what is the culture like? You're behind the scenes. You're not mm -hmm. out there treating clients. Mm -hmm. You're involved. You're kind of part of the corporate team involved with sales. What is the culture is it a tech company? Is it is it a healthcare company? How do you see it from where you are? Yeah, great, great question. Um, I think uh, Luna, as it's evolved on its journey, it definitely start a, as a tech company, right? It started with um, looking at the industry and, and realizing that there was a couple of gaps in in how therapists can access patients. Um, so that really focused its first the first core part of the product and part of the model was to create an environment, create a technology that allows physical therapists to access patients in a different way. That, that was the first thing. That's where the tech comes in. But what I loved about Luna, you mentioned AI, you mentioned virtual, you mentioned all of these different things. Uh, but what I loved about Luna is they left the patient care alone, right? It is still the physical therapist using their brain, their skills, their creativity, and the reason they went into the profession in the first place to help people alone. So, uh, you know, I think we're evolving into now really starting to focus the next iteration of Luna, the next evolvement of Luna into how do we now get away from being necessarily so much just a tech company, but really the leading provider of in-home physical therapy in the country, um, really focused around quality and really looking at how do we help patients do better? How do we help insurance payers do better? How do we help take some of the pressure off the system to really help not just patients, providers, and physicians, but just, you know, all of healthcare really just think about how to deliver services in a different way. Yeah, I, I love it. And going back to the earlier comment about Uber, mm -hmm. you know, I know a lot of people, I see a lot of patients who are Uber drivers and yep. they approach Uber as I'm going to go work for Uber. But when I look at Uber, when I look at Luna Physical Therapy, when I look at other platforms like this, I keep calling it a platform because I would look at it as, okay, these guys have the technology. They have mm -hmm. the EMR, which I want to talk about in a minute. Yeah. They they handle all the backend solutions. They handle everything that I need. It's not really like I'm going to get a job. It's mm -hmm. I'm working their part of my team in building my business, my independent contractor business. And so with that, you know, one of the things that I heard early on when I started researching the company is they don't really internally, at least they don't really look at Luna as replacing a 40 hour a week job. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, you want to make a little extra money. You want a little more independence and freedom. Yeah. Maybe that therapist who is on you know, a, an extended leave of absence. They don't want to work in a skilled nursing anymore. They're burnt out on other settings, but they still want to keep a hand in the profession. They can join Luna. They can start seeing higher functioning, higher level outpatient in the home referrals. Um, yep. What, what do you tell therapists when they're trying to understand this? Like, because historically it's always been either you're a PRN therapist and you're guaranteed, right. you know, a four hour block of time or whatever, or you're a W2 therapist. This is kind of a new model. How do you yep. describe it? You know, I love it. I think to your point, it's not PRN and it's not full time. It's, it's really what you want to make of it, right? I think it can go anywhere from I'm a physical therapist that works in an outpatient setting or, or you know, no longer work in that setting, but, you know, don't want to work an eight-hour day seeing 20 patients a week, and I just want to pick up a couple of patients all the way to the other side of the continuum of you want to see 30 patients a week with Luna and, and make this your full-time gig and basically run your own business through our platform. There's the opportunities to do both. And that's what really excites me about Luna is, you know, we can fit most people's needs, right? It doesn't have to be one or the other, which a lot of organizations, you know, you kind of have to fit into their box where Luna really can help you create what it is you want out of the profession. So we're able to, to really attract a lot more therapists and give them a better experience because we're meeting them where they're at, right? They're, 
They tell us how many days a week they want to work, how many, what days of the week they want to work, what types of patients they want to treat. Um, and then we give them a the technology to do it really simply and easily uh, and not bog them down with a lot of paperwork. So, you know, it really just, you know, for me, excites me because I really do think that this is going to revolutionize the way we do healthcare overall, not just in this space. I think this yeah. just starts. No, I totally agree. So before we got on, I made a list of five kind of topics I wanted to discuss briefly because some of them just seem so crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't actually know that I understand them correctly. So sure. I've been seeing some ads for Luna. They're like, they want to bring therapists on in certain geographies. And one yeah. of the things the ad says is same day payment. Mm -hmm. Now I've been saying when, if I saw a patient as a contractor for Luna, I know that when I get paid from Luna, that money is mine. It's never going to go away. It's never going to get taken back. Um, so I kind of eliminate that audit risk because Luna has the compliance thing in house. Mm -hmm. But what is, is this serious? Like if a therapist is working for Luna, they get paid the same day. Yeah. Once they sign their note, it's immediate. It's a transactional, uh, however they want to be paid is how they get paid. That um, is so crazy to me because really cool. for people who don't know, so I'm a private practice owner. I, I At my biggest, I own five clinic locations. Now I own two. I often say that even though I am a licensed physical therapist and I treat patients, I'm not in the therapy business. I'm in the billing business. And I could even go a step further and say I'm in the loan business because mm -hmm. I loan the insurance company's money. I treat a patient, I submit a claim, I pay for that right at the time of service, but my employees don't get paid for two weeks. I don't get paid for four to six weeks. Like there's there's all of this around the money, but now, I mean, that's I, I've heard people talk about this. Yeah. I just can't imagine, but thank you for clarifying. So you do sure. get paid the same day as soon as you finish that note. Yeah. Um, talking about notes, my second point is, all over social media, everybody complains about documentation. And I think one of the scariest things that therapists don't fully understand is when they hear outpatient therapy in the home, they immediately think of traditional Medicare Part A home health. Sure. They think of the Oasis. They think of piles of documentation. They think of taking notes home after work, doing documentation off the clock. Um, I don't know how well versed you are in the documentation system from Luna, but I've heard people say that you basically do your notes over the phone verbally. Yep. What can you tell us about how documentation works? Because I think this alone would be a huge selling point for therapists. Yeah, I think out of all the great things, Luna, this is the biggest game changer for therapists for sure. Um, you know, Luna set out to make sure that therapists, when they're treating their patients, have the time to treat their patients and not feel like they have to document while they're treating them or bring all their documentation home. So Luna created a technology uh, that's proprietary to Luna, where when you leave your patient's home, you have the option of receiving a phone call from our EHR system that will then allow you to voice dictate your note while you're potentially driving to the next patient or driving home. Um, takes about three minutes to do a note. They say an average of six or seven minutes to do an eval. I've never personally done it myself, but that's that's what they say. Um, and then it gets, it gets scribed for you. Um, and then you sign off on it. And then once you sign off on it, that's when the payment happens. So it, it really is, um, a game changer. And I think a big, the big feedback from a lot of the therapists that work on the platform is that that is the biggest thing for them is the ease of our documentation, um, and the ability to use the voice to text. Now, if you aren't a tech savvy person and you don't love the voice to text, we do have a traditional way of you typing it in. But even with that, it's still very, very manageable and, you know, maybe adds a minute or two, but uh, still really, really amazing stuff that the Luna team has been able to figure out um, how to really, you know, streamline the process for for our therapist out there treating the patients. So it's pretty cool. That is, I mean, that is so game changing. I've got a lot of friends and connections with people who are head of EMRs and looking mm -hmm. at that as functionality is just, just blows my mind. Yeah. Um, that being said, talking about home health versus outpatient therapy in the home, yeah. I think a huge value proposition, the, the next point of interest is when somebody is treating a Luna physical therapy patient, mm -hmm. they're not homebound. 
they could right. be as high or low functioning as, you know, as needed. I mean, they're not getting nursing, they're not Medicare Part A. Right. Um, and, and I think with that, I talk to a lot of therapists who are close friends of mine that have been in traditional Medicare Part A home health for over a decade. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them uh, obviously appreciate the money, but they say the money isn't worth the documentation burden. And right. they really don't feel like they can utilize their skills as a therapist because so much of what they're doing in the home for the traditional home health it's really just triage. It's, you know, mm -hmm. counseling, it's direction. They're not getting in and helping their patient get back to activities in the community. They're not doing golf performance rehab. They're not doing, right. you know, the things that they wanted to do. The reason why they became a physical therapist. Uh, I would just love to hear if you have any feedback from therapists who do outpatient in the home <laughs> compared to what you've heard or what your experiences are with a more traditional Medicare Part A home health referral? Yeah, you know, I think I have a lot to say about this. And I know we have a limited amount of time, but I, yeah. I could go on for hours here. You know, I think to take a step back, as you see healthcare changing, as you see value based care kind of really getting its teeth and really starting to stick, you see patients coming out of the hospital setting sicker, right? Uh, and they want to circumvent really high cost settings. So you see the home health agency is taking on a, 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 a sicker patient that's going to need more complex care um, and really not ready for that next level of care yet. And to your point, really, it's just about get making sure that they can transition home safely and that they're stable in the environment. But a physical therapist can do so much more than that. So I think what's really cool about Luna is um, not only do you see a, you know, a less sick patient or a more functioning patient you can actually tell Luna which types of patients you want to see. And depending on the market, depending on the partnerships, depending on the therapist, right? All great therapists have a following. Depending on the types of patients you want to treat, those are the patients that will actively direct your way. So if you only want to focus on maybe post-op total joints and only work with orthopedics uh, and sports medicine, well, those are going to be the majority of the patients that you should be seeing uh, with Luna. Uh, but if you do want to see, a, you know, an older adult uh, with some chronic conditions and, and you know, some, you know, challenges, maybe vestibular or neuro, um, you can you can have those on the platform as well. Um, and that's what I love about Luna. Again, it just goes back to the flexibility and allowing therapists to treat um, patients the way that they envisioned their career was going to go and the types of patients that they wanted to help. Uh, so we do everything we can to help make sure that you get those patients and are able to treat them. And then you have the autonomy to treat them based on what you think is appropriate, which is awesome. And my fourth item, talking sure. about getting the patients you want, um, you and I had spoken recently mm -hmm. off camera and you had mentioned geofencing and flexible yeah. scheduling. Tell me about that because I know a lot of therapists who again do conventional Medicare Part A home health and they're driving all over town and they're worried about time getting between appointments that's unpaid. Right. What is Luna Physical Therapy offering in re what is geofencing and how does that work? Yeah, so I, I'm definitely not an engineer, <laughs> definitely not a tech guy. Uh, but the way that I explain it is you basically put a pin on a map and the geofencing, the technology allows us to try to do our best based on traffic times, based on, you know, roadways and all the different things that come into the Google Maps and Bing and all the different solutions our goal is to keep you within a 30 minute drive time from your epicenter. So whether that epicenter is your place of work and you're traveling home or at your home, uh, we try to keep that windshield time as low as possible and really as closely densely um, concentrated. Uh, because again, there, that's one of the biggest things that therapists complain about is the unbillable time, right? The time in which they're spent in the car, the time in which they're documenting, it's, it's not what they signed up to do when they became a physical therapist. They want to help people. They want to be in front of as many patients as they can. And if they're going to be doing something that's related to the field, they'd rather be doing patient care than, you know, driving 45 minutes, an hour, two hours away. Yeah. And then my last question, the fifth sure. item on my list was support. Mm -hmm. So I, I, again, I know when you're working, I have a busy outpatient orthopedic clinic. I've got clinicians, I've got peers, I've got other people around me. 
Um, what does Luna do for support both in the technology side of things, which you had mentioned, if you don't want to do the voice activated EMR, you, there's another option, yeah. but also just in general, like what if the therapist is lost or they can't find their patient or something goes wrong, what kind of support systems are in place? Yeah. So we have an internal team that's focused just on therapist success. So um, if a therapist needs something, they're able to communicate with us right through their application. Um, and they're able to get an answer really quickly, uh, depending on what it is. If it's a feedback on the app, whether it's a glitch in the system, whether it's a challenge with a patient or a clinical question, that team will then route it to the appropriate people so that the therapist gets the support they need. Nice. So I know I already took you over my time limit, but the last question here for everybody watching, if they watch this long, they're obviously interested what does the onboarding process look like? And then what is the best way for a therapist who wants to find out more about Luna, find out if Luna is in their area? What's the best way for them to reach out? But first, what's the onboarding process? If, if I'm interested and I find yeah. out Luna is in my Cincinnati demographic, what is it like for me to get started? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a team, um, our therapist acquisition team. Uh, they're all physical therapists, which is actually really great. So when you get to Thinking about joining Luna, you actually get to talk to a PT about what it is your experience is going to be, um, and they'll walk you through that process. They'll help you all the way through, and uh, depending on the market, there's different requirements just based on partners and state, but um, usually pretty simple and seamless, and we can get people on pretty quickly and, and starting to treat patients uh, pretty seamlessly. So there's a whole team. If they want to get in touch, you know, it's getluna.com. Um, they can definitely look us up on the web and, and get in touch. And once they, you know, reach out to us, somebody from the Luna team will definitely reach out to them and, and get them started. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to answer my questions and kind of fill us yes. in on what Luna Physical Therapy is doing. So guys, everybody else who's watching, I'll post a link to their website down below. I'll post their number in case you want to call them to reach out. Uh, just one more time, Matthew, thanks again for being with thank me. Thank you. No, thank you. I really appreciate it.